Hey everybody, Lucia here. Welcome to the Luscious Dot Life. Happy Tuesday. I hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. I had a fabulous week. A couple of things I manifested happened. So that was really cool. And I'm just waiting for the big one, which I know is on the way. But my girlfriend, Elisa, took me to see Oprah on Wednesday. And she was wonderful. I cried like a great big baby the first half hour when she talked about her upbringing and actually how she even made it into the world because her parents, her mom and her dad, only got together once and Oprah. So I had to go to the bathroom and uh, fix my face because I was crying like crazy. One of the things she said that really stuck with me was be captain of your your ship. Be captain of your life. And I was thinking about all the friends I have, and myself included, how difficult um, a time everybody seems to be going through. But then what I realized, my friends that I'm so proud of, is they're like, yeah, I'm the captain of my life. I'm not going down with this ship. And taking action to fix it. So that was pretty cool. She's a dynamic speaker. She wore white on stage, so bow down. Oh, I'm a little obsessed right now with this Bobby, Bobby Brown highlighter. I'm like, sometimes look like I'm going clubbing in the day, <laughs> but I don't care. So taking some responsibility. I spent this weekend with a girlfriend. We didn't have it planned. We've known each other for 10 years. We're very similar. We're both, uh, we're both Sages. We had a good deep long talk, but there's no self pity. There's no feeling sorry for yourself or playing a victim. Even with all that she's going through and some of my other friends, I'm just so proud of the ones that are stepping up. Because, yeah, life isn't always easy, but it's up to you on how you want to view it or what you want to take from it, as a matter of fact. This isn't... Oh, I'm wearing my my bay pajamas from my mother, and I love them. My boyfriend says I look like I um, am in prison. And I said, well, it's a really fashionable prison, if that's the case. I still like them. I don't care what he says. And I did have... So if you get a chance, well, let's finish that conversation. If you get a chance, go see Oprah. It's well worth it. She's quite inspiring. I'm still inspired. And that was days ago. I'm going to take the lessons. And it's different seeing her live than just on TV or Super Soul Sundays or anything like that. There is something to be said for being around that many people. We had these like five ladies behind us who talk the entire show. <laughs> they actually didn't even make me mad. They were kind of funny with their commentary. And then we had two gentlemen in front of us that kept shushing us. And then I'm like, uh, it's not us. And then he realized it was them. And I said, feel free to tell them to be quiet. And he looked at them and said, <laughs> no. So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, but if you get a chance, go see her. Um, my friend Lily, her, I think Marigold's 10 or 11. Shout out to Marigold and Lily. Um, she went. So how cool to be that young and be able to, to see Oprah. And shout out to Lily. Like, you are a full-time busy, busy lady. And a super mom. So I just wanted to give you that shout out. I've, I've always admired you and I think you should know that. Um, so what I wanted to talk about was getting yourself up. So I'm not sad today. I'm not anything. I'm really tired. I was out late Wednesday. Uh, Friday was late. Saturday was late. And I got up this morning and I did some laundry and we had guests. So I, you know, took bedding off and I did a few things and then I was like, oh, I'm just going to stay in my pajamas. It's crappy out. Mm, not crappy. I love rain. We need rain. My flowers love it. But I was like, ah, I don't think we're having any company. I'll just 
stay in my pajamas today. And then I don't know what hit me, but it said, get up. Get up for yourself. So I'm getting up and I'm putting on my face. And I actually don't have anything planned, nothing. But I'm doing it for myself and it feels really good and I actually feel more alive and more awake and more on my game. So there's nothing wrong with the pajama day. I took one a couple weeks ago and it was absolutely fantastic and I watched like five movies. I, um, I watch this brush, by the way, I've talked about this before, seriously. It's the greatest brush ever. The greatest. I just like the way it feels. Like I could do this all day. Get up and show up. Even when you don't want to. But take a pajama day when you need one. When you really, really need one. And I'll never take a pajama day when it's nice out. Because we have so little nice weather in YYC. That I'm like, I can't do it. Yeah, today just, I don't know. Maybe it's Oprah. Maybe it's something. But it felt like getting up. So have a fabulous, fabulous day. Look after yourself. Look after each other. I had mentioned before the nine letters of Christ. I'm on letter nine. It's pretty deep stuff. I don't agree with all of it. But I agree with quite a bit of it. And, and I always like to have an open mind and listen to what other people are thinking. So if you have any book recommendations or any video recommendations of things you like that inspire you outside of moi, write them down below. Subscribe. Hit like. Take care of yourself. Bye. I'm not in jail.